This is how you know it is bad in GTA Online. Even Rockstar don't know their freaking game. Here are the vehicles on the Insimians dealership. This one. The Virgo Classic. Now, I'm going to be honest. I would imagine most of us probably don't know what the Virgo Classic looks like because it's not a vehicle we use that often. This is not the Virgo Classic. This car is the Vigero. This is the Virgo Classic. Does this look anywhere close to the vehicle we just took a look at? Guys, even Rockstar don't know their own freaking game. They're making GTA 6. They're making GTA 6. They're making GTA 6. Everyone say it with me. They're making GTA 6. That's the only explanation. These freaking event weeks are horrendous, Rockstar. Like, do they not want us playing their game? It's the weirdest thing that's happening right now. The game is in a lull. We've kind of gone through all the drip feed of the DLC. So surely instead of, you know, new content releasing, Rockstar should be putting out double money on a bunch of stuff. Maybe giving bigger discounts, like actually good discounts on a bunch of stuff to get people to play the game, to get people to, to spend money but, but no, we're getting the same things over and over again. I just don't understand. They genuinely don't want people to play this game. Is it because GTA 6 trailer is coming out sometime in the next couple of weeks? God, I hope so. It's probably not, but God, I hope so. Anyway, the event week. Acid Lab mission bonuses. I mean, look, that's a dope picture. That's where all the effort went to this week. That's it. There's the hard mode event still happening. That's going on for one more week. Of course, though, the main thing, like we just saw, was the Acid Lab bonuses. So you are uh, going to produce double supplies all week long. So that's definitely good. You like making money. Also, you'll earn 1.5% more on the missions. So, I mean, it's not a terrible week. If you're just trying to grind and make some money, the Acid Lab is definitely, I would say, one of the more fun missions because the, the cell mission is very easy to do and it doesn't take that long long so i mean yeah it's a good week to make some decent money but like still 50 percent more like god what happened to the two times money rockstar anyway we've already talked about the hard mode event that's still again going on for this week you can get all these little exclusive clothing items if you complete uh any of the things here this is how they're drip feeding the event weeks the tundra or tundra whatever panthea one of the Probably cooler looking sports cars from the DLC that was a limited time vehicle a couple of weeks ago is now back and it is still a limited time vehicle. It is only in the game for this week, so that kind of sucks, but it is a fun vehicle. It is a good vehicle. Um, if you have extra money, I maybe would pick it up. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty rare vehicle because it's the only Tundra made vehicle. So that one is cool. And then the rest of the event week is kind of trash. Deadline two times. I mean, deadline is fun. So maybe we'll get some people playing that adversary mode this week. Two times money if you win. On the dealerships, we have some interesting vehicles. None of them have anything really special going on with them. You have some good vehicles here. The Virtue and the Champion. On the other dealership, you can win the GB200. Which isn't that great of a, a vehicle. It's a decent-ish little off-road car and this is how you know the prize ride isn't that good they don't even have a picture of it so you can get the verlier super old uh sports car by placing top five three days in a row that's also how you know it's not a good car it's like the easiest thing to do top five come on and then the only discounts we got this week the toro xo the tsuhoma coupe the drugger and the locust all of those are 30 percent off now there is a new gta plus month and check this out. This is this is hilarious. You get a freaking slam truck. Guys, you're paying six bucks to get a to get this piece of crap. You can't even put a car on the back of it. It would be cool if you could put like a personal vehicle on the back of it and then drive your personal vehicle around. You can't do that. This is what I'm saying. Rockstar, what is going on? The actual GTA Plus month though, it, it goes through June 7th. You get some chameleon paints, which we'll take a look at. But uh, yeah, a free vapid slam truck. Like people are paying Rockstar six bucks a month and they slap them in the face with this. Dude, any other car would have been great to get for free other than this piece of crap. Uh, the chameleon paints though, let's see. I guess that's one of them, a, a purplish looking paint. Let's see, it's the purple pearl and the red orange flip. So I guess we don't get to look at the red orange flip, but those are GTA plus only. 
which kind of sucks. Maybe one day everyone can get the chameleon paints. You also get a complimentary drone station for your arcade. All right. That's probably one of the most useless things in the game. I mean, it's a cool little feature, but it's it's just useless. You don't really ever get a chance to, to use it that much. You also get some biker helmets. Are these even free? Yeah, they're free at least. So you get some biker helmets and jackets for free. And then I believe you also end up getting 1.5 times the payouts for G's caches. And free mode events will actually pay it out triple. So you get three times money on the free mode events. The caches will be paying a little bit more. And if you do want to get some new garage spaces, you get 50% off the cost of those. And then your typical 500k a month. So if anyone can explain to me what Rockstar is doing, I would absolutely love that. Because honestly, these discounts, even the GTA Plus stuff, it just, it's boring. And it's crazy to me that Rockstar would want people to think that way about the game that they're trying to make money from. But there you guys have it. That is the event week. That is the GTA Plus month. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video like. If you did enjoy, subscribe for more GTA content. Get a couple of more GTA 6 videos coming up over the weekend. So definitely check those out. But that is going to do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.